You have probably seen this formula before. Pi times r squared gives you the area of a circle. But where does this formula come from? To find out, we're going to turn this circle into a completely new different shape. So we cut the circle into eight equal parts, but it doesn't quite look like a rectangle. So now we're going to cut it into 32 equal parts. Now it looks a little bit more like a rectangle, and you can imagine that if we continue cutting the wedges infinitely, we will end up with a perfect rectangle. But from here, we can calculate the area of a circle by calculating the area of a rectangle, which is the width times the length. The width is this part of the rectangle, which is also the radius of a circle. The length is this part over here. And if you add up the length of each one of these wedges, you end up with the length of the rectangle. But there's another way of doing this. The length of a rectangle is one half of the circle's circumference. The circumference of a circle is two times pi times radius. And one half of two times pi times radius is pi times radius. At this point, all you need is to multiply the length, pi times radius, times the height, r. In other words, pi r squared. So there you have it. This is how a circle is just like a rectangle. And it is another way in which we can remember the formula for the area of a circle.